I had my bodysuit pieces for look number 5 cut out, but before I started sewing them I decided to play around with them a little on a mannequin. I usually go for this method because it gives me a little bit of freedom of movement and just pulling and tugging pieces to different sides, different areas of the body gives me a bit more ideas and I can always photograph the piece, not sew it, but just have some ideas to stick into my sketchbook for further inspiration. After the photo shoot, I hated how this pants looked like, but then now I've removed the flap that was in here I don't hate them. This is now fixed, but the only problem we have right now is the length. I decided to come back to a sample piece that I did in the beginning of January and recreated a new method. Back then I tried to trap scraps of fabric in between two layers of mesh which kept falling out and also I didn't really have a good technique. But now I learned my mistakes. This time I'm not going to be laser cutting as I did it back then, but if you're interested to see how that went, you can check out this video in the top right corner because that was a pretty interesting process. You've seen me make a mock-up of that top and now I am trying to make sort of like a final version. The pink version was made out of jersey and I don't have access to jersey machines. I'm using a semi-stretchy cotton fabric that I found about one meter long off-cut piece from a desktop fabric place. And I've been trying to manipulate it on a mannequin, trying to work around, like obviously gonna have side seams just because my piece was not long enough, but ideally I would probably preserve the seam in here because I don't really mind the look of it but have this be a continuous piece that will go around the back and maybe this section would be a separate one and in that case this front could go until the back and then this would be like a horizontal line going across because right now I I mean I don't hate the back I'm just not the biggest fan of how much this leans to the right and how little of a difference the straps are because ideally I would also have this be way thinner but it has to connect to the front portion so it can't really go slimmer than this i could make it a little bit of a deeper neckline and have this sort of round out to the right but i'm not sure whether or not i'm going to be liking the asymmetrical look in the back again so i'm keeping it like this for now i'm also not the hugest fan of how little of an impression those darts make that i've added in here but i think it's sort of enough to suggest that there's something happening on the front so for now i'm going to keep it like this i'm going to do a lot of hand stitching right now to fix those folds in order for me to then understitch them from within. My folds are acting like darts because I fixed them in place and I was working on a mannequin so you can see in here a direct reference of how darts actually shape the body. I wanted to change up my hair but because the blue dye is not coming off I just got a fringe and a little bit of a haircut. We all like disaster which is I think just like a human flaw that we, we want to watch train wrecks as they happen um, but maybe that's not the healthiest for us and propelling those people upwards isn't the healthiest for society. So I think there's also some some change we can enact ourselves by just deciding who we should follow and care about and promote. I am actually about to finish the top. Sorry, I didn't feel much along the way, but you saw this more or less constructed in pieces. So I have three pieces separately that I have connected together and made a very wonky bias binding. So on the inside, you can see how wide that is. And I wanted this section, this paneling to be very visible and noticeable. So I sort of like an outlining. And because this was inspired by a bodysuit and because I was playing around on that mannequin with a cut out in pieces bodysuit pattern and I tore it to different sections this is inspired by security check when you have to undress yourself and then put clothes back on obviously in real life settings you would not take a bodysuit off and then put it quickly back on but this is sort of the inspiration idea that you have to put on your clothes and they go all wonky and they are twisted in different areas and you get creases when you're like in a rush to put your clothes back on in order not to create security lines so I am almost done with this this is obviously a sample because I would never finish a, an actual piece like this but I'm quite happy with it the only thing I do want to add in here is a zipper which if you remember me undoing a bunch of uh, old bags and tearing it to pieces in order to preserve as many parts as possible I am finally about to use one of the zippers and obviously it doesn't match in color but it's gonna be in the armpit area I'm gonna cut it down and this is gonna be the opening for you to get inside of I absolutely love the composition on this top my favorite part is the bias binding that is sectioning out the breast into like a little dot in comparison to the square shape of the main body I would obviously change out the zipper because this is just a mock-up and I would change out the back to make it a bit more racer back like the front portion of it i'm quite happy i would just change the left armpit area because it's a bit awkward at the moment but overall i'm pretty happy with it I 
cute and I got the prints done. Oh my god, they're so expensive, but they're so worth it because they're for look number six. I'm gonna do a bunch of mock-ups not to fuck it up, but I'm so excited. You can't imagine my smile walking around some random area of talent with seven kilos of fabrics rolled into one and a half long tube and just trying not to hit people when I enter the bus. But I was super happy. I can't wait to start look six. But before that, I'm gonna try to finish look number five. The level of concentration I have to have to work with this machine is insane. I just choose not to blink for a few minutes straight, but that's just my way of coping with working with this frissy machine. Actually, I have become friends with it over working with this body suit. This is a flat felt seam machine if I'm not mistaken, and I'm currently creating a body suit. Those are hip cutouts. Here is where your leg would go through, and I'm creating this roll over edge. So far, I have stitched this with overlocker and uh, like a silicone strip that you would usually see in bras or different underwear pieces. This prevents it from stretching out over time, so it kind of creates some stiffened edge. And this way, when I'm stitching with this machine, I'm creating this interlocked edge, and I'm going to be cutting this down properly so that it will be so close to the edge that you won't really see it. This is not exactly the proper way to do it, but I'm still happy and I absolutely love how well this edge looks. By the way, this is totally not the correct way of working with it. This usually is the type of finish that you have on your workout leggings, for example. If you check the insides of it, you will probably have a snake-like pattern on the inside that is made with thread. And usually it encases the raw edge of fabric. In my case, I was just trying to invent my own version of finishings and just rolling it over the edge. So I had to cut off the unnecessary pieces. Judging by the fact how much I hated this dress when I started working on it and how simple it is and for the amount of time that I spent it on it already, I'm actually very happy like obviously it's not finished yet i am probably going to be omitting the second layer just because it makes it too opaque and initially in the design when i was developing it when we were on quarantine i thought that it would have to have two layers but now i'm quite happy with one i like the transparency i am thinking that if i ever get to do the print over top it's going to be enough just on one layer not to introduce too much information to it but like i said maybe the leggings from look number six are going to come to this look instead and if this has a giant slit then you'll be able first of all to walk because right now I can't really like spread my legs further than this which is not enough obviously then I'll show you the bodysuit underneath but this is at what stage my bodysuit is right now at and obviously like the elephant in a room this looks awful I'm gonna have to restitch the buttons and as you can see right now they are nowhere close to the edge and if I want this bodysuit to fit right and look better underneath the transparent organza it has to have the buttons right close to the edge by the way my hand modeling days are over so I have absolutely every cuticle that I have just tearing over when I'm thinking when I'm concentrating and I'll show you the bodysuit actually I'm quite happy with it like the way it is constructed the way it pulls in certain areas and I I don't mind have those leggings sort of peek from those cracks so i'm trying my best to construct look number five without actually con connecting the outer layer of organza to the base layer of the bodysuit i really want them to be separate pieces because i would love to wear them like this like the back is a little bit scandalous like you can tell it's a thong bodysuit so i'm not sure how much i could wear it out without anything underneath without like actually opaque leggings not those semi-transparent ones that i have stockings underneath of but i'm happy with it i feel like it looks very beautiful That is so cool. He just asked me whether or not I had enough light and when I said, well, uh, I could use some, not only did he change all of the light bulbs in my bedroom slash sewing studio, he also brought in this amazing magnifying ring light. I'm on my way to the sewing studio, I'm halfway there and somewhere near that street I found a broken umbrella. It was opened and it is missing that section. So I'm guessing someone in the storm that was going on in the morning just left it there when it was broken. So I'm guessing they're not going to come back for it since it was right in the side of the street and like it was very visible so i'm taking it with me it's starting to rain again so i'm going to take my umbrella out but i'm thinking of deconstructing deassembling the fabric from the outside and perhaps reupholster it with my own fabric and see what i can use it for i don't think i'm going to be making just a regular umbrella 
it could probably be interesting as a side piece extension, we'll see. Because I decided to fix my whalebone inside the French seam with a top stitching on my sewing machine, it didn't really like it and I had to go with it manually turning the wheel. So it started sort of collecting threads on the bottom and I had to tie them in with hand stitching in order for them to look a bit more cohesive and not go outside the frames. And then now I'm going to be stitching a satin ribbon on top of it. This is how that hand stitching has been turning out. I am quite satisfied with it. When I finally do the second, the other side of it, it's going to be covered perfectly and you won't really see any stitching because when I was stitching, I was kind of grabbing the little thread that was on the sides and just pulling through it. So there's absolutely nothing visible from the other side as well as the back side. So it's pretty clean. And also because this still, I am facing the problem of it not lying correctly and just pushing up the other way, I'm probably going to put a wire inside so when I stitch this edge I'm gonna leave an opening in here so that I could put in a wire and see how that improves the shape and the twistiness of the whole thing. So my group meeting and I had a little tutorial to ourselves it was Masha and Anna and when we were discussing what we've done so far I put on this sample and the zipper broke on me and I wouldn't say that I stretched it too much but because this is initially a zipper for very thin lining inside a bag I kind of should have predicted that it wasn't really meant to hold in all your body parts. I would have to change it out for something else if I were to make a final thing. And when I mentioned that I was making it a final, obviously not like a final final thing, but a final sample. So that I could work out all of the kinks and all of those like very wonky bias binding jobs. So I actually don't think I'm going to be using it in my degree collection right now. Maybe for an extra look or a look number four, which is for now undecided. But I do really like it, except for those ugly makeup stains that I've already managed to put on here but I think it's gonna wash out the only problem now if I want to wear it as like regular day-to-day -day clothing piece I would have to wash it obviously and then I have not finished those pieces on the back I really want to just stitch them finish them fully but I have to focus on other things right now so this is gonna have to wait <laughs> 